Hey, it's me Sable. Welcome to Trans Life. Just wanted to do a quick little update. <laughs> um, it's 9.27 on Thursday. I would normally be at the Flamingo Resort right now, getting ready for my show. But I decided um, not to go. Um, if you can see behind me this huge pile of clothes and wigs and stuff, I was like, I need to go through everything, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, transition, hormones, I just, I feel like it's all just the same thing, you know, you have to remember to take your pills, and if you don't, you feel like, um, like, there's times when I don't take my pills for, like, a week because, um, I have a, a porn shoot or something and I want to make sure that, like, everything's going to work properly. <laughs> and, um, um, I don't know, it's like... I, but I want to stay on track with transition. So what happens is I feel like if I don't take my pills, then my breasts aren't going to grow and I'm never going to have enough tissue to get breast implants, which is what I want. Um, somebody is messaging me on Yahoo. And I don't know who it is. Let's see. I don't know you. And I don't... Oh, I know you. Hi. Okay. Anyway. I can't believe I just checked that while I'm doing a YouTube video. Oh well. Um, I cut my hair so I feel like it's so much shorter, <laughs> but it's not. It's the same. <laughs> but I got some bangs and, you know, people say that getting bangs makes your hair look longer, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But I do feel like it. Um, I, like it made me feel like I look a little bit prettier, a little bit more girly, a little, excuse me, softer would be the, the word I'm looking for. Um, but with all the crap <laughs> that's been happening lately, um, with being trans and dating and all that. I, uh, I'm happy to be doing this video where it's not about that, you know, this is about everything else. <laughs> um, I've always been a performer, I've always been an entertainer, and I love to do it, but I feel like at this point, being an entertainer is just not working out for me. Um, because I don't have the money for the costumes that I need. I don't, um, I don't put enough effort into it right now because I can't. I have all this other stuff going on. Maybe after transition is done, then I can get back into performing. But, I mean, I'm, I'm still going to do, sh I'm still going to perform and do drag shows, but I can't really put anything into it until... I can stop putting money into transition, you know what I mean? So, and I want a normal job, I want a normal life, I want a boyfriend, and I want, uh, like, to, I wouldn't mind moving to a place where there's not as many gay bars to perform at, you know what I mean? Um, just a small town, you know, that's, it's kind of more my speed. If the people are nice and and they don't care that I'm trans and uh, and my boyfriend's proud of me and you know wants to show me off, then you know yeah, <laughs> that'd be it'd be great. So I wouldn't mind moving. I've done it how many times now? <laughs> okay, I still want my dad to. Now that 
happy. <laughs> anyway, um, I was watching YouTube videos and I came across um, uh, someone I hadn't seen in a while, Rebecca, and she was dealing with um, problems at work. And she's very beautiful and very passable. And people are calling her um, names that don't even, like, oh, I've heard this story before, not from her, but from other trans girls where they're out in public and people call them, like, like they'll be like, yo, look at that faggot. Blah, 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 blah. And it's happened to me, too. I mean, it happens to us all. You know, it's not just a, it's happening to you, or it's happening to me, it's happening to all of us. <laughs> so, there's always going to be that idiot guy out there who, who is ignorant of trans people, and, you know, we can, a lot, you know, something that sucks is that we may see ourselves as girls, and our friends might be able to accept us and see us as girls. But everybody out there isn't going to always see us as girls. They'll, like, you can look at me in public and know that I'm not a real girl. I'm not that passable. Um, I'm really tall. Yeah, there's tall women. But the majority of women are short. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, if, every, if all these other girls around you are these tiny little girls or even if they're big girls, um, you know, they're usually not as tall as I am, so that usually gets me clocked, <laughs> and, um, in you know, my voice, but I don't really care about that, um, I think you just have to, you have to look in yourself and be like, okay, I'm transgender, I'm a tranny, I'm a transsexual, male to female woman, you know, whatever, um, wh whatever terminology you are comfortable with, and when you're, and just be happy, just be like, this is what I am, this is who I am, you know, this is the direction I took in life, and I had to do this for myself to be happy, you know, and that's where I'm at, I'm happy, <laughs> becoming happier every day. Um, I did decide that I'm going to do, uh, FFS, Facial Feminization Surgery, for those of you who don't know what it is. Um, it is a, it's like, it's a surgery that's built up of multiple things, like, um, the doctor will go over with you what he thinks, what you think, and they, um, you'll work out a, a treatment program, like, they can, um, uh, guys have longer, um, longer foreheads, like me, from your eyebrow to your hairline up here, uh, is a lot more than a girl would, so they lower your hairline, they can raise your eyebrow, um, they can give or take away to your nose, they can add cheeks, or if you already have cheeks you don't need to do that, and your jawline can be more narrow and pointed, so I mean, I, uh, I really want to get some work done, I think my jaw, my nose, just a little bit trimmed down, and of course my hairline, because I want to be able to my hair back in a ponytail and not feel like I look like a man. That's the only thing I'm really self-conscious about. And then my cheek. I need some, I need some cheeks. I mean, to feel comfortable as a woman, to really feel comfortable with myself, I want to feel prettier. I know I look good, but I want to look great. So, I plan on having that surgery, uh, along with breast augmentation and a lot of laser um, hair removal. And that's it.
I'm done with transition at that point until I get a lot older. I might, um, I might then cons <clears throat> consider going for an SRS, but for the time being, I want to be preoperative. Well, I'm running, I think I need to stop this video because it's like 10 minutes, so peace.